Okay, so we put the dowel on thusly, and then we put the uh, roll on thusly. I like to say thusly. Thusly, 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 thusly. I need to switch from CD to roll. Whoops, okay, so roll three. Um, I don't recognize that song. But what we'll do here, remember the tissue strips and the tape? Watch. That's almost as much fun as saying thusly. Um, okay. So now we know the band organ tune. Let's play for Miles and see what happens. Half what? No, not to the carousel. To Miles. Miles! I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. Oh, we got... Sensors already. Mm -hmm. Talk it to me. Oh, what was it? Hooray! DCBA. I remember that song. I did ride the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You love the carousel. And you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? Yeah. I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name, Glory. But Glory. All right. All right, Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday, my fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Oh. Your mother was the one who bought oh, that horse. Oh, she was horse. four years old. I wonder what happened. And Tara was giving her I so much crap for not remembering. I didn't know she was only I hated four the years carousel, old. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of Miles, the magnificent memory machine, you would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, hmm. here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who yeah. runs a carousel. Let's give him a call. I've okay. got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. And she doesn't move. She sits right back down. But that means we solved the mystery of the carousel or not the carousel horse. We solved the mystery of the broken roller coaster. Now we just need to solve the mystery of the carousel horse. And we still got one mystery left. Anyway, we rock. We solved the mystery. So, uh, what do we do now? I know, we can see Ingrid. It's locked. <sighs> Everything is locked in this game. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. We're coming up on the end of the game here. Harlan's not around. One one oh no one oh one one nine oh. Ah, I bet you five bucks. That's the code. I see you, surveillance. <laughs> okay. I bet that's the uh, combination to his locker. Because we have really no other hints as to what the combination should be. One oh. 
one, one, nine, and then O. Oh. And we find, we find, uh, what's this? Appointments. Lois G. I wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Yeah. Two for one at Bonanza Burger. All right. Oh, yeah, I am so there, baby. I love Bonanza Burger. And a tape. Let's put it in the tape player. Uh, shut the locker door. And turn around to the tape player. I need a tape. Sure, Nancy, we've got the tape right here. That's Ingrid? It is her. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. That is... Uh, hmm. I better put this back where I found it. It's a short tape. So, 0276, eh? Oh, good. I don't have to re-enter the combination. Okay. Well, we found all we need to know. Harlan's a spy. Um, and, uh... 0276, that was it, right? Whoops. Maybe it's 0376. How could I forget already? Jeez. Huh? Darn it. Where's Nancy's notebook? Okay, back to the Captain Coast Quarter Hotel. Journal. 0726. Oh, okay. 0726. That's it. Not 0267, 0726. Okay. Sorry for the, uh... <laughs> brief screw-up. Alright, now we get to explore, uh... This area. Exploring, exploring is so much fun for everyone. I wish I could explore every day. Okay. Wow, that's one expensive watch. $20,000 paid in cash? Dang. Too bad we can't call Ingrid. Huh? I can see why this would be the... Uh, okay. She clearly is making a lot of money. What's this? Call L.H. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Hmm. Okay. And right now I get to use my phone call. To, I mean, get to use the phone to figure out some su suspicious backstory for everyone. Okay, let's, let's start with uh, Harlan's suspicious backstory. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Ooh. Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. I'll let him know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, as you can tell, he's an ex-con. And remember, remember, remember when we talked to Detective Paris? There could be an ex-con on the loose trying to steal a uh, carousel horses. Okay, so that's how Harlan's suspicious. Let's see why Ingrid's suspicious. Now why is Ingrid suspicious? Who is L.H.? Talk to me. Yes, hi. 
Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. So, is everything okay? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Hmm, so that's Lance Huffington. Kind of a slime ball, if you ask me.